Chandrayaan-3 or CH-3 is a follow-on mission of Chandrayaan-2 or CH-2. The Chandrayaan-3 configuration is arrived considering Chandrayaan-2 heritage, on-orbit experience gained from Chandrayaan-2 mission and recommendations of the expert committee. Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft is configured with a propulsion module, PM, and a lander module, LM. A rover is accommodated inside LM. A lot of robustness has been built in lander to autonomously handle wide range of dispersions in required parameters to achieve soft and safe landing. Extensive simulations and ground testing has been carried out to evaluate the system performance in non-nominal conditions. Optimum mission planning and highly precise performance of all systems of Chandrayaan-2 orbiter resulted in savings of additional propellant and thus enhancing the planned mission life of orbiter from one year to approximately 7.5 years. All eight state-of-the-art payloads of Chandrayaan-2 orbiter have been providing plethora of science data to scientific community and helping in revealing the deep secrets of the moon. In Chandrayaan-3, Orbiter is configured as propulsion module to function as a carrier for lander module till 100 km lunar orbit. All payloads of Chandrayaan-2 and its associated elements such as X-band chain, data processing and storage are removed from Chandrayaan-3 which in turn has reduced the PM mass by approximately 225 kilograms. All the other housekeeping systems are optimized to suit mission requirements. One experimental scientific payload, namely the SHAPE payload, has been added as a value addition and the science data from this payload is planned to be obtained through the S-band telemetry data link. Shape will help in understanding the nature and characteristics of water-rich planets through this integrated broadband spectroscopy and polarimetry of Earth. It will help in future studies of potentially habitable exoplanets. Lander module is configured with four payloads, namely CHASE, Chandra Surface Thermophysical Experiment, Ramba, Radio anatomy of moon bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere. ILSA Instrument for lunar seismic activity. LRA Laser retro reflector array. CHASE will carry out the measurements of thermal properties of lunar surface at landing site. RAMBA will measure the near surface plasma density of moon and its variation with time. ELSA will measure seismicity around the landing site. LRA is a passive instrument that provides a target for precision laser ranging from a spacecraft in lunar orbit, enabling geolocation of the lander. Rover is configured with two payloads, same as in Chandrayaan-2. These payloads are LIPS, laser-induced breakdown spectroscope, and APXS, Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer. LIBS will derive the chemical composition and infer mineralogical composition of lunar surface, whereas APXS will determine the elemental composition of lunar soil and rocks around the lunar landing site. Mass advantage obtained from propulsion module has been used for improving the robustness of lander module. Improve descent trajectory, enhance guidance algorithms, inclusion of indigenously developed new absolute velocity sensor, complete redundancy implementation, overall system improvisation, enhance lander leg design to handle higher touchdown velocities, thorough characterization of landing site using Chandrayaan 2 OHRC camera, extensive ground tests and on-orbit characterization plan of Chandrayaan-3 lander before power descent has enhanced its robustness. In order to have a safe and soft landing, 
It is required to know the position and velocity of lander very precisely at every instant. An inertial sensor, LIRAP, provides the incremental change in position and velocity of lander from start of descent. LIRAP in Chandrayaan-3 is same as in Chandrayaan-2, with improvement in thermal implementations. However, in order to correct navigation propagation error during descent of lander, it is aided by a set of absolute sensors which provides altitude and velocity information at regular intervals. An indigenously developed, state-of-the-art three-axis velocimeter working on Doppler principle named LDV, that is, Laser Doppler Velocimeter, is included in Chandrayaan-3. This sensor is developed for first time by ISRO. It provides velocity of the lander along three directions with high accuracy, whereas Chandrayaan-2 was not equipped with an absolute sensor to directly provide vertical velocity of lander. In addition, a vision-based sensor named LHVC, which was flown in Chandrayaan-2, is also included in Chandrayaan-3. LHVC measures pixel shift in consecutive images by utilizing altimeter and gyro data and provides horizontal velocity of the lunar lander in X and Y direction in real time. Altitude information is obtained from two sets of altimeter, namely Kara and Lhasa. Both sensors perform flawlessly in Chandrayaan-2 mission. Kara is based on frequency modulation continuous wave principle. In Chandrayaan-3, its processing algorithm and detection strategy is further fine-tuned to improve robustness and avoid multipath reflection by reducing bandwidth range of modes. LASA in Chandrayaan-3 is configured with higher update rate of 2.6 Hz with respect to 0.868 Hz in Chandrayaan-2. LHDAC camera, which operates during terminal phase of landing and provides lat long of safe grid for landing, is improved in algorithm and hardware to handle different illumination conditions, increase of feature points for enabling successful 3D output for safe landing site. The engines and thrusters configuration have been retained as in Chandrayaan 2 lander except for the removal of central engine. Slew rate of TFCV is reduced from 900 pps to 500 pps to take care of Chandrayaan-2 observation. Propellant tank size of lander is increased from 390 liters to 470 liters to cater for additional propellant requirement. Anti-slosh baffle is introduced to handle slosh oscillation during power descent phase. An additional LVG is introduced to handle closed mode failure of LVG-1. Lander legs are required to absorb impact energy during touchdown. Though the touchdown specifications of Chandrayaan-3 is same as Chandrayaan-2, that is vertical velocity of less than 2 meter per second, horizontal velocity of less than 0.5 meter per second. The lander legs, its interfaces and associated structures are redesigned for enhanced energy absorption capacity of 4,000 Newton meter in comparison to 2,275 Newton meter of Chandrayaan-2, which corresponds to limit specification of touchdown mass of 800 kilograms and vertical velocity of three meter per second and horizontal velocity of 1 meter per second. The limit specification for lander leg in Chandrayaan-2 was vertical velocity of 2.5 meter per second, horizontal velocity of 0.5 meter per second for a touchdown mass of 700 kilograms. In addition, avionics of lander is revisited to have redundant systems wherever necessary. Solar panel and battery size is increased appropriately to cater to the requirement of systems augmented for robustness purpose. S-band telemetry rate is increased from 1 kbps to 4 kbps 
and X-band data rate is increased from 200 kbps to 500 kbps respectively. X-band data transmission during entire descent is ensured and HDGM will be operated during the entire descent phase. S-band antenna system with full Omni coverage that ensures continuous telemetry and telecommand communication link availability is implemented. Landing site of Chandrayaan-3 is selected by utilizing images from OHRC of Chandrayaan-2. The 0.32 meter resolution of OHRC images is the best resolution images of Moon available globally. Digital Elevation Map DEM of landing site developed utilizing OHRC images has helped us to increase landing site area in Chandrayaan-3 to 4 km by 2.4 km whereas Chandrayaan-2 landing area was 0.5 km by 0.5 km. This increase in Chandrayaan-3 landing area enables to handle wider dispersions in along and across range at touchdown. All the changes in Chandrayaan-3 are validated by exhaustive simulations which involved Sixdorf, Oils, Sills, Hills, Hardware Simulator and extensive ground test in form of Integrated Cold Test ICT, Integrated Hot Test IHT, and lander leg drop tests. ICT was conceived to validate integrated performance of all sensors, NGC hardware and software algorithms. A MI-17 helicopter was used for ICT to test sensors for its entire operation regime, including hovering at 1.3 kilometers, 800 meters and 150 meters and lower altitude tests up to 10 meters altitude which couldn't be done in LSPT during Chandrayaan-2 due to limitation of aircraft operating range. The tests were done at Chitradurga, wherein a special test site with simulated lunar craters were created to simulate landing site. 25 hours of flying time was used to conduct several tests with different combinations of sensors. The outcome of ICT provided several takeaways to fine-tune sensor parameters. The successful conduct of integrated cold test has provided greater confidence in the performance of all the onboard sensors and associated navigation algorithms. Integrated performance of all sensors and NGC was evaluated under engine firing condition for the first time in IHT. A set of dry run tests, static tests, Closed-loop tests, D-boost and compact mission profile tests were conducted as part of IHT. Hovering and vertical descent of lander is demonstrated in IHT and this has enabled successful validation of closed-loop performance of all sensors, propulsion system, navigation, guidance and control algorithms. Performance of optical cameras and 3D output of LHDAC is also validated in these tests. The test was conducted at SDSC Shard, which provided a benign weather condition in comparison to Chandrayaan-2 LAPT test site. Simulated lunar craters were created for IHT-2 for LHDAC performance evaluation. The successful conduct of IHT has provided great confidence in the overall system. Improved design of lander legs was validated through a series of drop tests starting from component level to integrated simulator and QM structure level with different touchdown conditions such as on hard surface, soft surface, flat bed, 12 degree slope bed, simulating different combinations of vertical velocity and horizontal velocity. A new facility was realized at URSC to have a 11 meter by 7 meter test bed with flat and inclined drop surface. Lunar simulated soils were used as contact media for drop tests. These changes are summarized in this table. All the different domains of Chandrayaan-3 mission, whether it is hardware, software, guidance algorithm, mission planning, 
contingency management, landing strategy, autonomy, characterization of landing site, ground tests, computer simulations have been reviewed at length. The outcome of all reviews, simulations, tests are utilized to incorporate necessary improvements to enhance robustness of the system. The recommendation of national level experts and untiring effort put by the entire team ISRO has made us confident in successfully flying Indian flag on moon in Chandrayaan 3.